What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk about the one year anniversary of the great Nintendo Switch. This system is truly phenomenal in every single way. Now, I'm very biased. I'm a massive Nintendo fan, so you need to know that right out of the gate. I am a long time Nintendo defender. I want to clarify something on a video I made a few weeks ago where I mentioned the Wii U in passing. And I, I said the Wii U was a terrible system. I meant it was a terrible system from a marketing standpoint and the way Nintendo rolled it out. And ultimately it failed miserably because of Nintendo's approach. As far as the system itself went, I loved the Wii U. I still have a Wii U. I still have my games for the Wii U. I loved it. So... I wanted just to clarify that, but let's talk about the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo needed a home run, and they didn't get a home run. They got a grand slam when they brought the Switch out um, because the Wii U really just was such a massive failure from a sales standpoint and a marketing standpoint. They needed to hit a home run, and they hit a grand slam. So I just want to go through a few of my games uh, that I have for the Switch and my thoughts on these games because I love this system. Now, just to... Um, give more context i have every video game system i have an xbox one i have an xbox one s i have a ps4 i have a ps3 i have a 360 i have every freaking system i play every system so I, I at least have the knowledge of all systems so when i make the claim that the switch is my favorite system you know that i'm coming from a place that at least i have all the systems and i play them regularly uh, as much as I can. I don't have as much time as I would like. But let's go through some of the games. So first off is Breath of the Wild. Okay, Breath of the Wild is an objectively all-time great game. This, this game is so phenomenal on every single possible level. And if you have not played Breath of the Wild, even if you only have a Wii U, you need to do this right now if you are a gamer because the game is absolutely mind-blowing. It's won every Game of the Year award. It's one of the best-reviewed games in the history of video games. And it will surpass every single expectation that you have. Trust me on that. Now, let's move over to Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey is a fantastic game. It's not my favorite Mario game. But it's, it's just got so much heart and it's got so much charm. Um, it's probably, I would have to, it may, it may not even be one of my top five favorite Mario games. Super Mario World is my favorite all-time Mario game and uh, by far. And then I love the Galaxy games. I love 64. I mean, I love every Mario game we've ever gotten. But Odyssey is fantastic. The music is phenomenal. The, it, it gives you some nostalgia moments, but it also gives you some new moments. And uh, Super Mario Odyssey, again, not my favorite Mario game. Definitely not on the level of a Breath of the Wild, but still a great game with, without question. Uh, the game I played the most on my Switch, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. What is there to say about Mario Kart that, that, you know, what can I say that hasn't already been said? It's Mario Kart. It's the ultimate party game. It's the ultimate game to just turn your brain off, have some mindless fun, but there's a lot of strategy involved with Mario Kart, there's a lot of skill based, there's obviously a lot of luck involved with Mario Kart, it's pure chaos, it's pure just fun, chaos, you'll cuss, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll break controllers, it's Mario Kart, and the best thing about the deluxe version is it's just the, you've got the online uh, aspect you've got the co-op aspect you've got everything the battle mode though is what was introduced on deluxe and the battle mode my goodness shine thief and bomb blast it's you will cuss and you will cuss a lot and i will be streaming mario kart 8 on our twitch channel in the very near future um splatoon 2 if you did not play the first splatoon on the wii u you missed out on a great game and splatoon 2 it's it's not a major upgrade from Splatoon 1, but it's still a really solid uh, sequel to a, a phenomenal first year IP. So Splatoon 2 is just great. It's so much fun and it's so, there's just so many cool little things about it. And if you haven't played it, it's hard for me to explain the dynamic. Just play it. Highly recommend it. Massive, massive achievement on Nintendo's level or Nintendo's um, first-party efforts, that, as they always do. Last but not least, 
Rocket League. Obviously not a Nintendo-specific game. Uh, it's not an exclusive. I have Rocket League on my PS4. I have Rocket League on my Xbox One. But when I can just take Rocket League anywhere I go, you can't beat that. You just can't beat it. So I'm just... it's The, the Nintendo Switch is, in my opinion... It's the best system available, hands down, and it's not even close. Yes, there's some third-party support lacking. I get that. But the first-party system right now, it, you can't beat what the Nintendo Switch brings to the table. So it's been a phenomenal first year for the Switch. They surpassed every single expectation with their sale. I think it's over 10 million units sold now worldwide. Huge number. I think it's right on pace with the PS4 in terms of sales. So... Uh, I'm so happy as a Nintendo fan. We've got so many awesome things coming uh, down the road here in the next few years for the Switch. So the, the future is very bright for Nintendo, and I could not be happier. So what are your guys' thoughts on the Nintendo Switch? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for checking out this video. Check out GeeksAndGamers.com. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.